how y'all doing? And this is Liquor Eats here with Jacob Conte. And today we're going to talk about what the calf needs to do better and what is good about the calf and what it needs to do better. And I'm going to be interviewing a few students. I'm going to be interviewing the calf workers. And I'm also going to get an interview with the SGA to see what we could do to make the calf better and talk about what's good about the calf. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, and we back. I'm out here in front of Lincoln University CAF, and um, I I'm here with a student that just came out the CAF. First off, can you tell us what your name is? My name is Justin White. And what's your classification? My classification is a senior. And where you from? Queens, New York. All right, all right. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions real quick. All right, so what's your favorite thing about the CAF? My favorite thing about the CAF is it brings a different type of community. It brings the family feel to Lincoln. That's that's what I Alright, and I just got another question for you. Alright, if there's something Lincoln could fix about the calf, what should it be? The cooks, seasoning, everything. Change the whole food menu. You gotta change. So you think the food menu not good? You don't like it? Not at all, not at all. You think it's the same food, right? Yeah, always. I think so too. It's the same food. It's just, yeah. But I appreciate it though, bro. You know? Thank you, bro. Hey, we back again. I'm here with another student here. He just got out the cab, got him something to eat and whatnot. So first off, I'm going to ask you, what's your name? My name is Ian Megan. Ian Megan, nah. Hey, what's your classification? I'm a sophomore. All right, where you from? I'm from Detroit, Michigan. All right, Detroit, you feel me? All right. So I'm going to ask you two questions real quick about the cab, and I just need you to answer them. What's your favorite thing about the cab? To be honest, my favorite thing about the cab is really just the energy, especially on fried chicken Wednesdays, because that's really the time that you get to enjoy with your friends. In the middle of the day, when you're going away from classes, it's just it's somewhere to go, you know, where you go. I feel you, I feel you. All right, fried chicken Wednesday, you know, get your blood pressure up. All right, so question number two is, if there's something Lincoln can fix about the calf, what should it be? Man, they need to figure out a way to change the recipes, the seasoning. They really just need to change the menu up because I'm tired of eating the same thing. Like, they find a way to recycle the beef. Like, first they put it in beef and gravy, then they're putting in some Asian sauce. Like, they got to find a way to switch everything up for real because then the only thing I, I can resort to is really getting a sandwich. I feel you. It's feel like it's every type of chicken. It's like fried chicken, baked chicken, you feel me, all that. But, yeah, I feel you, man. Hey, man, well, I appreciate you, though, bro. Sure. Hey, and we back again here with my last student in the interview from the CAF. And um, first off, what's your name, sir? It's, uh, Ryan Wilcox. All right. And uh, what's your classification? Senior. And where you from? From PG County, Maryland. Hey, shout out to Q the Fool and all of them, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm going to ask you two questions real quick. What's your favorite thing about the CAF? Well, I don't know if I have anything I would say was my favorite, but it's pretty much the atmosphere. You get to see a lot of people, see new faces. People like to, you know, dress up on Wednesdays, fried chicken Wednesday, so that's pretty much the best part about it. Seems like a lot of people like fried chicken Wednesday, but hey, you feel me? I, I dig it, I dig it. All right, so what problem, all right, and if there's something Lincoln can fix about the calf, what should it be? Uh, they need a whole new food provider. It's, it's definitely cheap. Whatever they doing is not no money spent. I came from a PWI before this, and it was a completely different world, so I know where the money's not going, I'll say that. All right, so it's interesting, money not there. Feels like we need a better budget, but I feel it though, I feel it though. But I appreciate you, hands oh, a little sweaty, you know. but you know, appreciate it, sir. <laughs> Hey, we back here. We're here inside Lincoln University's CAF here. I'm here with one of our workers here. Um, first off, can I ask what your name is, ma'am? Miss Sissy. Miss Sissy, okay. And how long have you been working here, Miss Sissy? 26 years. 26 years, wow, okay. So I got a couple questions. Um, what's your favorite part about working in the CAF? We're more like a family oriented here. I mean, we try to please the students as much as we can. I mean, if they have a complaint, we try to accommodate them with anything that's not right here. Other than that, it's a very nice place to work. Okay. okay, and then I just got one more question. What problems do you have that you feel like the school should help more about in the calf? Students leaving their dirty dishes and trash in the calf after every year. They could help a little bit better with that. Okay, well, thank you for that. I appreciate that.
Hey, and we still here at Lincoln University Cav. I'm here with another uh, uni Lincoln University Cav worker. What's your name, by the way, sir? Xavier Butler. Xavier Butler. All right, nice to meet you. I got two questions for you real quick. What's your favorite part about working in the Cav? Well, I got some nice uh, people I'm working with back here, and I'm not so far most of all the students are very nice to me. I mean, the work is real easy. I mean, keeps me busy. But uh, it's an enjoyable atmosphere. Okay. All right, I like that. And then question number two. I know you said you've been here for two weeks, but it's just question number two. What problems do you have like that you feel the CAF have that you feel the school could help fix the problems in the CAF? Well, I've only been here two weeks, like uh, two weeks. I used to work here maybe 10, 12 years ago. It's been a big, big, big improvement. But uh, I can't really say and uh, see any pro any real problems. I don't know about the problems the students might have, but I guess some of them might say, hey, they might need some uh, better food or something like that, or I don't know. That's uh, everybody I've seen that I, that, that, that I speak with, they really enjoy. Okay, and I meant like as a worker, like problems you, so you feel like as a worker, you guys don't really got too many issues that you feel like you deal with? Um, no, not really. Uh, I just, I come into work, I mean, people are nice to me, I do my work, and I, I go home. That's, that's basically it. All right, well, I appreciate you taking your time with us. Sir. Hey, what it do? We here with um, SGA Executive Assistant. Um, what's your name? First of all, my name is Brittany. All right, and what's your classification? I'm a junior. All right, so I got a couple questions for you, Brittany. Uh, what do you think SGA could do better for better food in the CAF? Um, I mean, I think something they could do better is the staffing. Uh, I believe the, the like, head chef is like a white man right now, so nothing against him, but I mean, he don't got mama's cooking, so I think it would be better if they had some more people in there, like different people, cultural people. Alright, good answer. I like that. Okay, and my second question is, what do you think the cab needs to be better? And I feel like you kind of answered that with the, what you said, but what else do you think it needs to be better with? Um, I think the cab needs to be better. I think the time can be extended um, only because people are hungry longer than 8 o'clock p.m. Um, but that also goes into staffing again. If they can staff more students who would like to work those times, it would be better. And um, also the food, and then the way just how everything works in the CAF, like the IDs and things like that, I think it needs to be a little bit more lenient because at the end of the day, we're students and we have to eat. Like, we're humans, we have to eat, so. All right, I, I like that those answers though. But I thank you for giving us the time to interview us, and you feel me? Here comes our conclusion to Lincoln Eats. I like to thank everybody that took a part of the video, and you know I hope that this video can help Lincoln University Cap be better for both students and faculty. And I like to thank my production staff, Justin Lefty White, my man Ryan Wilcox, and um Ian. I don't know his last name, but thanks Ian. And you know, thanks Brittany from SGA, and thank you to the um, the school store. You know, they let me record here, so we like to thank him too. And um, you know, go ahead, and we out. Five, four, three, two, cooks. Chill, 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 chill. Hold on. Cooks. Uh -huh. Let it be known. The cooks. All right, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we gotta do that again. Come on. You gotta have, then you supposed to slide it in. Ah! Uh, hey, pause, pause, pause. Yeah. Three. Oh. <laughs> There's your, uh, <laughs> give me a call. <laughs> All right, fellas. All right.